Good morning, everyone. My name is Veritas, and welcome back to Destiny. So today is Friday the 13th. It also happens to be Zer Day. Zer is down here by the Crucible Quarter Master, our site 9940, adjacent to Lord Shax, the Crucible Handler. And I think he has something we've seen recently. Ooh, Lion Dancer. Nice. Uh, and he has something I think we've seen quite recently. Interesting stock. Interesting stock. I'll tell you guys a story of that uh, that weapon he has. But we have the Twilight Garasan. Uh, he had this two weeks ago, I believe, in the same location, I also think. Um, but when you are airborne as a Titan, you can Shade Step. It's pretty nice. You can do it twice. Uh, you know, a little rhyme there. But it's a very nice chest piece. Unfortunately, it does not shade uh, with shaders. So it will always be this, uh, this lovely blue... Um, I have one on this character. I'm actually a Titan this time, so you can see what it looks like. Um, when you run around with it, actually, uh, the little pistons come out. I'll show you that real quick because it is kind of cool. Let's 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 show that off. Um, you guys will be able to see it when see it, it, it. The little pistons come out of it when you uh, when you when you move. See the little pistons? Yeah, cool. So all right. Good. Now that's that's said and done. These people are like, he just bought a Twilight Garrison. How is it already 310? Um, but next up we have the Aclophage Symbiote. This will allow you to have a fourth Golden Gun shot, but Golden Gun does bleed faster. Um, this is pretty much a useless helmet because of the fact that Golden Gun is garbage in PvE. Um, this is it's decent for PvP, just to have the extra shot if you want to get a group of people. So... Go ahead, collectors, yada yada. Next up, we have the stag, uh, in all capitals, because we know it's important. And um, the stag, once per life, fast super recharge when all teammates die, and a chance to spawn with an overshield. Uh, is this helmet useful? Not really. I don't ever actually see anybody using this, just because it doesn't really have any uh, actual purpose. Uh, but go ahead and grab it if you don't have it already. And moving on to the super good advice. Uh, this was a machine gun in year one before Taken King. The good old boys. The good old times of the game when everything was fun. Uh, this machine gun was was acquirable through an exotic quest. Uh, which would randomly unlock when turning in bounties. You used to have to go complete your bounties. You only had five bounty slots. You used to have to go complete them. Come back to the tower. Go back to the fucking the bounty dude and turn them into him and when doing that he had a chance to generate one of uh, a three choices of six exotic quest lines you had it would it would take three randomly out of six and this was one of those and you had to go do a bunch of different stuff and then it was actually really easy this one was specifically um but you know you could go and get this machine gun it's actually really cool uh I fucking, this machine gun, it was one of my favorites in year one just because it was fun, um, but it has crowd control and super good advice, you're probably going to want to run uh, Flared Magwell with this puppy, maybe hand loaded, um, but you're going to want to, you're going to want to do CQB ballistics and probably Flared Magwell, uh, obviously crowd control and uh, super good advice, missing shots may be re returned to the magazine, landed shots may be replaced in the magazine from your reserves, they added that last part in. Uh, back in year one, this basically was like, uh, you know, just hold down the trigger and you never run out of ammo because you just, as you shoot and it doesn't hit anything, it doesn't use that ammunition like 98% of the time. So it was a pretty interesting weapon. Um, pick it up if you don't have it already, uh, just to save yourself from having to go buy legacy engrams because this is a year two weapon or a year one weapon. Um, but you can get the, like, the legacy version and buy this from the thing. I don't know, you know, whatever you think is a cheaper method, um, just 23 strange coins or, you know, buying it through a bunch of weird stuff. And then also we have the legacy engram helmet. Uh, this will give you a year one pre-Taken King, not current light level, year one helmet fucking thing, uh, exotic helmet. So if you, you know, there's a helmet you just don't have from year one. Uh, go ahead and grab this and see if you can get it. It will it will lean towards something you probably don't already have. Then of course he has the void drive, the stealth drive. Um, these do not both either make you void nor do they stealth you, but they do make your uh, the little exhaust from a a rare quality sparrow, uh, purple or red. Uh, and then he has these heavy ammo synthesis, and of course he's got some trace decoino, uh, and then some glass 
some uh, glass needles, excuse me, uh, for your exotic uh, armor re-rolling purposes and needs. So that's all he has this week. It's it's, a, it's an okay stock. Um, I'd really say if you were not around the other week when he was selling the garrison and you would like Mr. Garrison, I would say go ahead and snag this, get good with it, like actually like practice with it, and then you'll be pretty uh, mobile in the Crucible. And then, of course, the rest of these, I would say, are just collector's pieces. Um, you don't really have to buy them if you don't want them. Uh, but, yeah, that's what Zerv's got this week. As I said, he's across from the uh, Lord Shacks next to the Crucible Quartermaster. And, um, yeah, good shit. Good shit. Happy Friday the 13th, by the way. Um, yeah, so all these people wandering. Seeing the misery the Zerb brings on this Friday the 13th. My cat is screaming out in the hallway. All right, cool. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, very much appreciated. And, uh, yeah. Till the next video. Have a great day, everyone. <laughs>